Okay, day seven, I think, my alpine track walk. Um, just leaving Farm Ridge now. Not sure where I'll go tonight. It's, it looks like it's going to be another cracker day. I don't know if you can see. As I swing onto the track here, you'll see the kind of sun lighting up the valley behind me. Um, my toe gave me a lot of grief yesterday, so if my toe goes all right, I'll head over like Schlink Hilton, maybe even Schlink Pass, or White's River Hut. Um, I want to set myself up for the rolling ground tomorrow. So I'm thinking maybe Schlink Pass, that'll give it a few Ks before I, maybe a couple of Ks down to White's River and a couple of Ks up before Give the give the rolling ground a bit chance to dry off, because um, pushing through knee high scrub when it's ringing wet first thing in the morning won't be much fun. Anyway, that's looking ahead a bit far. Let's see how my toe goes today, because it was agony yesterday. All right, I'll uh, I'll better get walking, I suppose. I'll catch up with you soon. And there's a uh, magic jungle with the sun just touching it. Like I said yesterday, I'm not going to climb Jigungle on this trip. Um, I'm saving that for another separate trip. I'm trying to manage this town. What I've discovered is the tusky off-track stuff is what's hurting my toe the most. Um, so I've got a fair bit of that coming up tomorrow across the rolling ground and the main range. So... And I want to save um, Jigungle for a special trip anyway. I want to get out the back and explore a little bit. So this is uh, Bogon Creek down here. This was the other camping option last night. Well, this one of Doubtful, Doubtful Creek and the other side of Farm Ridge. But I don't know if you see the, I assume you can see the, the fog and the mist and the ice on the, on the grass down there. With, these, with the weather the way it is at the moment, which is sensational, these valleys are like frost hollows. So it's easy, six, seven degrees colder down there. It will be for sure. It was probably five or six up there last night. I reckon it's gonna be below zero down there. Anyway, I'm gonna grab some water down here and then truck up up the other side there. I'll get into the sun somewhere, filter and um, filter the water. And uh, maybe have some brekkie too. We'll see how we go. What a sensational picture. Jigungle rising in the background. Yeah, so this is um, Bogon Creek. See how icy everything is. I'm gonna dip my hands in there in a moment, fill the filter bottle, fill the water bottle up. The filter bottle up. Oh what a joy. So Mount Jigungal is the um, northernmost mountain in Australia over two thousand meters. For those uh, walking train spotters at home. So this is a Keefe's hut I'm coming up to. I think there's some um, mountain bikers staying in the hut, so I won't probably video in the hut. So I'll video from back here. So there's a dunny behind the hut, you can see, and there's a creek I'm gonna cross just in front of it. It's a really nice hut, this one. It's probably why they're staying in it. And that's Jigungle towering over the top. So I've just spent the last couple of hours traversing the side of Jugungle. Had some brekkie. Must have had 20 walkers go past and say hello. Um, everyone's up at doing the Mount Jugungle circuit this weekend. It's Easter. So it's Easter Saturday today. I was talking to some people and they were saying the Dersh case was, was absolutely chockers last night. 
because uh, I know a case was pretty busy. There was mountain bikes. That, there was at least six mountain bikes at a case. It's a popular weekend up in the Alps, especially with weather like this. I'm going to swing uh, swing south down here, so I probably won't, too, won't see too many people as they head down towards Greymere. Not Greymere Hut, I don't think. Valentine's. Oh, I'll start picking up people at Valentine's, I guess, from from um, Gathaga, possibly. So I just seen my first snow gauge. That's where I've come from. This is the way I'm heading. <laughs> so that big mountain, or that big flat area, that's the main range where I'm heading to. So there's a grey mare hut over on the hill. You can see it. I probably won't go up to grey mare hut. Um, I'll fill a logbook out at Valentine's hut later this afternoon. But I am going to get water down this valley somewhere because I'm out of water now. What a sensational day. Getting sick of me saying that, I guess. Last time I came through here, on, my, on the Alpine track, heading north, I reckon I caught rain or storms almost every day. So I think this is Back Flat Creek. So I'm crossing it now just before I get to Greymere. And then I'll cross it again as I leave Greymere, so I'll get some water down there. And have some lunch. I'm going to leave Greymere Trail now. I'll just come down there. I'm going to head down Valentine's Trail towards Valentine's Hut. Um, and where I cross that broken, uh, sorry, Back Valley Creek down the bottom here, I'm going to grab some water, have a bit of a break. Looking reasonably good for around. Link past this afternoon or tonight at this stage, I'm feeling pretty good. My toes actually a lot better than yesterday. It's been all track walking today, so no, no kind of tussocky grass for it to contend with, which seems to be the thing that hurts it. So I'm feeling pretty good with the world. All right, I'll catch up with you soon. This is my crossing point at Back Flat Creek for the last time. And that looks like a decent swimming hole. I'm going to get over there, have some lunch and have a swim. So, you know of a hiker explosion in a hotel room where you open your pack and shit goes everywhere? Yeah, well, I have those kind of things at my lunch break. So, there's my tent flapping in the breeze. I've got it pegged down, otherwise it'd end up in, uh, in uh, the Southern Ocean somewhere, probably. Here's the remains of my pack. Shirt's down on the ground there, airing. Shoes randomly scattered around. Hat over there. Filter there. Socks up there. My little sit pad's all wet because I've been swimming. I'll show you the highlight of this one, though. This little swimming hole here, just below the waterfall. And in case you're wondering at home, it is cold. Now, how good's that, eh? So I've just done. Um, 
reach the Gihai River. This is um, this is a tricky one in spring. It's all right at the moment. Spring, I had to go up to those rocks up there and cross. I'm going to cross just here today. If I hadn't been for a swim half an hour ago, I reckon I'd be in here. Anyway, let's get up to Valentine's Hut, eh? Got a bit to go yet. That smudge in the distance is tomorrow's walk. That's the main range. Okay, I'm just dropping into Valentine's. I'm gonna have a bit of a breakdown with those people are setting up camp down the river down there. And then keep going. It's only about I don't know, I guess it's about 3 30. It's a bit early to stop, yeah. Good news is uh I mean look away if uh you've got a squimish stomach. But while I was stopped at um, Oh, that creek back, whatever it is, back creek, the one just out of Graymere. I had a swim, soaked my feet. My toe that's been giving me grief yesterday, last couple of days, um, there's a heap of pus came out of it. Um, and it's relieved the pressure, obviously, because it feels A1 now. The bad news is, when I went to clean it up with my alcohol swab, it's obviously too old, my alcohol swab, so it's dried out. So I'm going to go through the rest of my first aid kit tonight, see if I can anything else, because I don't want it to get infected now, it feels good. Um, worst case is I'll nurse it through to Threadbow, and there's a chemist at Threadbow. So we'll see how we go. But at the moment, I'm feeling A1, which is good. Seven days into it. All right, I better get down to this creek, fill with some water. So this is the impossibly cute... Valentine hut. There's a few people camped around. I'm not sure if there's anyone in the hut, so but this is Dunny here. The best camping's down near the river. Um, it's not that flat, just beside the hut here. All right, I'm gonna go and fill out the logbook. Okay, I've hit Schlink's Trail. Let's wander up here past the hut and up to the pass. All sounds easy. Um, just talking to a couple of people on their way to Valentine's, they say there's only a couple of tents at the Schlink Hilton and White River, at White's River. Um, so that's good, everyone must be over near Jagungle because there's massive people over there this morning. All right, better get this uphill grind out of the way, eh? So I'm just heading up to the pass up there, and that's it for the day. I'll fill the water up. Oh, probably at the creek near Schlink Hut, I reckon. What a beautiful time of the day to be walking. And tomorrow, it's up the top. So there's uh, Schlink Hilton. I'm going to get some water in that gully up there and then go up to the pass. So I'm making the most of the uh, good weather. Can't ride right on top of Schlink Pass tonight. Avoiding the crowds near where all the huts. Because the huts are heaving Easter weekend. Sensational up there. So I'll drop down to White's River in the morning, refill my water. Then tomorrow, over the rolling ground. Should be a big day. Should be a good day. You can hear dinner's cooking. Bed's made up. 